Hi, I'm author Daisy Griffin, and this is my lizard Tui, and we're back again to read some more of Samantha Loses the Box Turtle. Now, when we were reading earlier, Samantha and her grandparents found a box turtle in the road. They didn't have a safe place to put it, so they took it home with plans to take it to a nature preserve the next day. Before they took it to the preserve, though, Samantha uh, convinced her mom to let her take it to school and show it off at school. The last chapter that we read, they had gotten the box turtle out at school and were talking about the food chain, what the box turtle ate, what ate it. Everything went well. So let's see what happens in the next chapter. <clears throat> All right. Chapter 7. <clears throat> 1 minus 1 equals 0. Today's math lesson was a short one. They were reviewing multiplication tables before they moved on to division. Samantha had been practicing her multiplication tables every day at home, so she knew them really well. It made the lesson easy to keep up with. Gertie practiced even more than Samantha, so she was bored with the lesson. They passed the time writing notes back and forth, and before they knew it, it was time for recess. Everyone was happy to head outside. Unfortunately, just as they were about to walk out the door, it started raining. Not just raining, but pouring. If someone had turned on a waterfall over the top of the school. Back to the classroom, Miss Klutz informed them. Samantha stared out at the rain disappointedly. They had been planning a kickball game at recess. Now they'd have to sit around inside. Oh well, maybe Miss Klutz would let her get Gazer out again, she thought. By the time Samantha had turned around, most of her classmates were already down the hallway and heading into the classroom. Samantha followed them. Mrs. Klutz was opening the window so everyone could enjoy the fresh rainy air as Samantha walked back in the room. Samantha walked over to the teacher and asked, Would it be all right if I got the box turtle out during recess? That would be fine, Sam. Just be careful he doesn't get hurt, Mrs. Klutz responded. Other kids were already gathering in groups, setting up board games, or generally finding other ways to amuse themselves for recess. Samantha headed straight for the turtle carrier. When she reached down to open the door to the carrier, she was surprised to find that it wasn't latched. The door was swinging open freely. Oh no! she cried as she reached down into the pine straw. She felt around, desperately hoping that he had just burrowed himself down deep into the cage. No luck. Samantha pulled out every bit of pine straw right there on the floor and went through it all, just in case she was missing him no turtle. Josh heard the commotion and walked up behind her. He said, here's a math lesson. What's one turtle minus one turtle? Zero. Samantha felt her cheeks go red. Stealing a turtle was just the sort of thing Josh would do, and he had been back in the classroom before her. Samantha whirled around and screamed, what did you do with him, Josh? Me? I didn't take the turtle. Isn't he there? Josh replied. He actually did look innocent, but he was probably good at pretending to be innocent. No, he's not here. The door was open and he's gone. Samantha held up a fistful of pine straw to make her point. Gone, she said again, narrowing her eyes at him. Sam, I promise I didn't take him. I thought he was just hiding in the pine straw. I wouldn't hurt the turtle. I like him, Josh said. By this time, Mrs. Klutz had heard the commotion and come over to check on them. Most of the other students in the class were watching as well. The teacher took a moment to assess the situation. She had heard Samantha and Josh's argument and saw the empty carrier and the pine straw all over the floor. Mrs. Klutz turned and addressed the class as a whole. Our box turtle friend has escaped from his cage. I need everyone to help find him. Students started looking around and getting up. 
Mrs. Klutz held up her hand and waited until she had everyone's attention again. She continued, I want you all to be very careful of where you step while we are searching. If you step on his shell, it will hurt the turtle. Shauna and Alex, will you please go and check the hallway in case he walked out there while our door was open? Joe and Carter, can the two of you look in the bathroom? Samantha, you and Josh can clean up this pine straw and get his cage ready again. Everyone else, please search the classroom carefully. All the students went into action immediately. Samantha felt better. He was just a turtle after all. He couldn't have gone far and everyone was looking for him. They should find him soon. Unless Josh really did take him, she still wasn't sure. And that's where we stop the end of chapter seven. Next time we'll see if they find him.